Alright kiddos, yet another installment of Finn taking off the fucking makeup. Hascar's fade away the shakeup. So yeah, I went to a wedding today and got the fuck down. I always have a uh, particularly good time when I, well, I'm allowed to be myself. And I'm kind of fucking extra. As pointed out by another guest at this hotel as I was walking off of the uh, elevator this guy walks by me and he's like damn and I'm like oh shit he's okay but he's actually um just a little fucking afraid because my eyes were two different colors which you know is welcomed be afraid be very afraid but yeah it was really nice and it's always crazy because like I am not out to my family. Well, most of my family, I'm not out to them. And, um, I don't know. I've, I've told my dad that I'm asexual. And I've told my mom, too. Uh, it seems like they don't understand, really, at all, what I'm talking about when I say it. That it's like, you know, an actual orientation in that... This shit actually means some shit. That it's not just, you know, a label I've decided to cast upon myself. It actually pertains to a very distinct experience. And I don't think they understand the experience, though they have been given information to um, broaden their horizons and they choose not to really engage with it. So, you know, whatever. My friend, her family is extremely accepting. It's so fucked up <laughs> to interact with a black family that's like, yeah, we'll say your pronouns. Yeah, we'll, you know, treat you like a human being. And like, my family treats me like a human being, but it's almost predicated on this thought that like I'm normal and a nigga's not normal it's obvious I'm not fucking normal everyone kind of assumes I'm like kind of an eccentric theater kid and so I kind of go under the radar that way um but I'm gay as fuck y'all I'm gay as fuck I mean it would be impossible to hide if I wasn't the way that I am that I, if I wasn't like kind of extra and kind of a little bit odd already like if i wasn't goth or you know alternative um because that was hard enough to deal with growing up my my parents did not understand that shit and um i remember my mom on several occasions just coming into my room and like just looking at me just like for a long time just kind of staring at me and then just quizzically asking What's wrong with you? That's fucked up, right? That's fucked up. I didn't think there was anything wrong with, you know, the way that I am. I, I, I mean, I assume that it's, you know, different. And, I mean, you get kind of ostracized by other children uh, for having different interests. And, you know, that kind of shit gets pointed out. And you're told you know, by your parents that you shouldn't listen to those people. Those people don't know what the fuck they're talking about. But when your parents become one of those people, it fucking sucks. To have the people that say that there's nothing wrong with you ask you what's wrong with you. For a young person, it's a bit shattering. It's a bit uh, disorienting in, in finding your own identity. And, um, yeah, it just made life harder. I mean, I got through it okay, mostly. I mean, I'm not dead. But it's so interesting to encounter a family that's so supportive, because this is a lesbian couple. And um, the family is just, you know, just really cool about it. And I'm sure there were definitely some growing pains. There was definitely some uh, probably not great interactions with people and 
you know, family not being understanding because that's what family does. Is, I mean, in my <laughs> experience, family just uh, adds a layer of tedium and confusion and discomfort to all experiences. And so I wouldn't be surprised if there weren't some type of growing pains as far as um, my two friends um, kind of being accepted by their families. But overall, they've been absolutely wonderful. And they've been wonderful to me and all the, the friends outside the family. They've been great. My parents are actually wonderful uh, to people who aren't their children, which I always have a really hard time explaining it, that my, my family, my, my parents are delightful. They, are, they open their home to strangers, they are always supportive, always ready to help someone, always ready to give the clothes off their back, the food out of their mouths. My bad. My phone ran out of batteries. It was um, slow charging and it ran out. So um, what I was saying was that my parents are just incredibly hospitable and very um, outwardly just very gracious to all people that they interact with, even the people that take advantage of them and I think that is something that I kind of learned from them is to give um, as much good as you would like to receive even though you probably never receive it it's just I don't know you know you put into the world what you expect to get out and even if you don't get it back out it's worth doing it's funny how my parents are so outwardly supportive of any and all people that they interact with but when it comes to their own children it's not well it's not a courtesy that is afforded to us which it, it just seems like how is that possible if they're you know just really great to everyone in their lives, how is it possible that their children wouldn't wouldn't also be included in that? And I think it's just the expectation, the the relationship, the the way that they see us, almost as extensions of themselves. And um, yeah, it makes life traversing life more difficult when you feel as though your identity is intrinsically tied to this other person who isn't you and they would never could never be you but they expect you to be like them and interacting with my my friend's family it didn't really make me sad it didn't make me feel like i was missing out on having a supportive family it just made me aware that supportive black families exist regardless of what their children are like and i won't say that my family isn't supportive my, my parents are supportive people but they are not incredibly accepting and the way that they talk about gay people, the way that they talk about trans people, the way that they talk about other races, well, it just makes me uncomfortable. And it makes me feel as though people like me, they don't think of as, I don't know, people deserving of the same rights as everyone else simply by virtue of us being different and 
that's a that's a heavy statement to say, but to to my parents, gay people, LGBT people are seen like as the scourge of the conventional family unit, and it's been expressed to me many different ways, many different times, and I just uh, decide to, I guess, keep my shit to myself, and they they know, they have to know that there's something up with me. I mean, I'm, a, I'm very different uh, than a lot of the people in my family, especially like my cousins and stuff, but I think because I'm living a life that is outwardly it looks very conventional that I am less of a worry but a life of convention is no life to me and it's not because I am you know this staunch person that has to just shun all convention and be different for the sake of being different. This shit is just not comfortable. <laughs> like regular ass mainstream ass life, like heteronormativity, amatonormativity, fucking monogamy, all of it is fucking, it's just uncomfortable. It's like wearing shoes that are too small. And eventually, you know, you either cripple yourself or you take the fucking shoes off. Yeah. I'll talk to y'all later.